Hi guys, this is Dalamar Kimtenyo and welcome to our video tutorial. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano i-convert ang ating if statement, yung ating if l statement, kung paano i-identify ang ating even or add number. So, gusto natin i-change siya sa switch statement. So, paano ba gawin yun? So, I have already here my code. So, if you don't know this, you can watch my video on how to check if integer is even or add number and it's in the description below so now we're going to convert it so this code is example we have condition so if num percent to is equal to zero so ibig sabihin kapag ang remainder natin is zero ibig sabihin even siya so kapag add naman is Kapag hindi ang remainder natin equals to 0, automatic. Kasi we're using else, automatic add siya. So, kung gusto mong ilagay ang kompleto, else if, instead na else, so num percent to equal to 1. So, instead na 0. Kapag may remainder siya, example 1, automatic add number siya. No? So, kung i-convert natin siya from if to switch statement. So, to do this, Saan po, I'm going to delete na lang. Delete ko na to So, erase ko na. Right, so, I'm going to make switch. Then, open, close parenthesis. Then, starting curly brace. Enter. So, para, okay na. So, now, instead na yung sa if, ilalagay natin yung C, num, percent, to. Remember yung ating modulus 2. So, kukunin yung remainder. So, kung ating remainder, modulus 2, is equal to 0, so, yun yung sa ating F. Pero ngayon, hindi na ganito. So, ang gagawin lang natin, instead na ganito is switch num percent 2. So, ide-divide niya or kukunin niyo yung remainder na divided by 2. So, then, kagamitin na natin si case. So, case, ang remainder niya is 0, colon. So, if remainder is 0, so, ibig sabihin, even number siya. So, dyan, mag-break tayo, then, so, dito, so, case 0, if remainder is 0, even number. So, break, then, case, ang remainder niya is 1, Colon. So, if remainder is 1, so, add number siya. No? Then, let's break. So, medyo parehas lang sa ating if statement. So, instead na if, we're using case. No? Case, remainder natin 0. So, tawagin natin. So, declare na natin itong sysO. Then, let's call our num. Then, kung katinitin plus, then, let's say is even number. Then, so, odd number naman. So, tawagin natin si num. Kung katinit natin again, so, is add number. So, let's save then run. Let's try to input 7. So, 7 is odd number. Then, let's type 8. So, 8 is even number. So, tama. So, the same yung sa output natin ng using if condition natin. So, now, instead na gagamitin natin case 1 or sa remainder 1, we can also use kagaya nung sa ating if else. No? So, if yung remainder is 0, so even, then else add so automatic kapag hindi nagmatch yung sa pinakaunang condition automatic si else. So now, so ang equivalent ni if sa if statement sa switch statement is instead na case 1, type lang natin default, no? Default. So default. So kapag hindi nagmatch sa ating case, so automatic si default yung mag-execute, no? So save natin then run. So let's type 17. So, 17 is odd number. Then, let's type 
Again, run natin, then 100. So, 100 is even number. Then, another 0. So, 0 is even number. So, tama pa rin. So, now, i-simplify natin, i-break down. Kasi, baka naguguluhan din kayo nito. So, kagaya ng ginawa ko nung sa ibang video ko. So, instead na i-diretso ko, i-break down natin. Let's declare int, then rem for remainder, then equals num percent to semicolon. Don't forget. Instead na num percent to to, papalitan natin ng rem. So, ang ginagawa natin dito is ang value ng number num modulus 2, yung remainder is ipuput natin or store natin sa rem. Then, si rem ang evaluate natin sa switch. So, Evaluate natin siya dito. Kung ang rem, ang value ng rem is 0, so, tawagin natin si num is even number. Kung hindi, so, num then is a number. So, let's save, then run. Then, let's type 98. So, 98 is even number. Let's see if it's true. So, 98. So, it's even number. Then, let's try 83. 83, then let's run again. 83. So, 83 is odd number. So, that's it. So, ganito lang kadali guys kung paano i-convert yung ating if condition to switch. So, ito yung kung paano natin i-identify si even or odd number using switch statement. So, see you sa next video natin.